Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Daniel Farrelly. I'm a principal lecturer here at the University of Worcester in the School of Psychology. I'm also the head of department for performance, health and wellbeing, and I'm currently the course leader for undergraduate psychology courses. In this presentation, I'm going to talk to you a bit about studying psychology, about what that involves, and a bit about what psychologists do. I'm also going to talk about studying psychology here at Worcester, including aspects of uh, the structure of the course and other things around studying here at Worcester that we feel will really enhance your student experience and help you make a difference in the careers and pathways you choose to follow afterwards. To begin with, it's always important to think about what is psychology. Hopefully this is something you've thought about already before you decided to uh, apply to study psychology at university. But it is an important thing to think throughout the course and throughout your time here particularly thinking about what you can do afterwards. So what do psychologists do? We have views about what psychologists do. We have perceptions about them and they're quite often presented in, in the public in particular ways. But it's important that you recognise that psychologists do lots of different things. There's lots of different ways in which psychologists can make a difference and an impact in the world around us. To help with this, uh, the BPS have produced a short video which I think is really useful in really telling a story about what different things psychologists can do. Psychologists are people who think about thinking. We have an intense curiosity about people. And a strong desire to help others understand why we do what we do. We have the courage to question the status quo. We are connectors and interactors. Adventurers and explorers. We remind humans that it's okay to be human. That emotions are good. Psychology is everywhere. We invented the tea breaking factories. We changed the face of criminal investigation. And we made advertising a whole lot more effective. Sorry about that. No, we can't read your mind, but we can help you to understand it better. Every day, psychologists are working to tackle stigma, to find answers, to learn more about our behavior as humans. Research has helped us identify risk factors, new treatment options, and prevention strategies and tells us how little we know and how much we've still got to discover. Psychology is a science, and so it's ever-changing and never-ending. We are forever reaching our limits of knowledge, but as we edge closer, our limit moves equally away. The mind expands like the universe. It's the best job in the world. So that's a really nice little presentation that tells a lot about what psychologists do. And that just gives you a flavour of the sort of things you can do after studying psychology. So now I'm going to talk a bit about psychology here at Worcester. Now the school is relatively new. It was founded in 2018, uh, which uh, reflects the fact that psychology is a growing area, a popular area uh, within the university. <clears throat> and as part of that, we've developed a vision for how we want to be viewed as a school, which includes both the staff and students. So we want to be, think, uh, be thought of as uh, forward thinking, uh, as dynamic and creative in how we go about our teaching and our practice. And we're dedicated to uh, growth and development um, of everyone, staff and students uh, in the fields of psychology and also criminology, which is part of the School of Psychology. And we want staff and students to work as a community. And why is this to make a difference through things such as impactful research and tell us about the world around us? about the practice we go into uh, and also realising how we can influence and make a difference in the world around us and this idea that we work as a community together around that. And in terms of studying psychology here uh, uh, as an undergraduate course, this is a key part of it. This vision feeds into this. So before I go into too much detail about the course, I'm going to show you another video that was produced which gives you a brief overview about psychology what's Psychology in Worcester is the place where you start to make a difference. This course has been structured around the challenges society is facing today and will face tomorrow, helping to prepare you for global citizenship, whilst also appreciating how you can make a difference right on your own doorstep. From fast fashion to artificial intelligence, from knife crime to mental well-being, studying with us means that you get to work on real-world problems, use the latest research and contribute to tomorrow's debate today. 
Learning with us is also about opportunities. You will have opportunities to volunteer and build your work experience, participate in research and gain additional qualifications alongside your degree. You will also be involved in a partnership between students and staff to ensure that you have an outstanding experience while studying with us. Learning should be about developing skills that will help you to make a difference in your chosen career. We know that employers need you to have excellent literacy and numeracy skills, but we also know that they want you to develop a customer survey for them, analyse data for their CEO, or write a press release. You will be assessed on your knowledge in learning using assessments that employers have told us they want. We think you should have an opportunity to try university assessment in the first few weeks of the course, without it contributing to your overall degree. You will be offered constructive, high-quality feedback to assist you in improving your work and achieving your potential before it really counts. We also understand the importance of support. With the help of your lecturers, personal academic tutors and our student services team, we will ensure you are supported on every step of your journey. Psychology at Worcester is the place where you start to make a difference. From your first day to the last, we work with you to help you plan your future career or study, develop your skills and build your confidence as a psychologist. Join us at Worcester. Together, we can make a difference. So hopefully that's giving you a little flavour about what studying psychology here at Worcester is about. <clears throat> what we have is a course designed to develop you as psychologists of the future. So we'll be going out into the world of work or further study within a few years' time and we'll give you the skills and abilities and knowledge you need to be able to cope with anything new that comes up in the future. So what we'll have is having very career focused and um, assessments around the sort of things you will do as psychology graduates in the future. And they're going to be innovative in terms of, well, actually thinking we don't actually know what the psychologists of the future will be doing. So we're going to teach you to be flexible and innovative in how you approach it. We're also going to get you to look at issues that are really important at the moment, global issues that uh, we're going to face in the future or now indeed, and thinking about how psychologists can really impact on that. <clears throat> so it's going to be things such as knife crime. We know knife crime is a big issue in our uh, inner cities. Well, what can psychologists tell us about that? Well, we know a lot about group behaviour, we know a lot about aggression, and so interventions can be designed by psychologists of the future like yourselves to actually impact and reduce knife crime. Likewise, climate change uh, and sustainability. We know that this is a, a big factor that's facing the world. We also know what we need to do in terms of reducing our carbon emissions, increasing our recycling and so on. But we also don't do it. So it's clearly a psychological issue. So psychologists can help us understand the motivations around um, behaving sustainably, how we could actually increase that, how we could design products that actually increase sustainability. There's also a lot of issues around fake news and social media use. This is something that's increased rapidly in the last few years, and our understanding of that hasn't really kept up. So psychologists can tell us a bit about that. We know why uh, we have a particular mindset that makes us drawn towards news that we know may be fake, but actually supports our views. We know a bit about how social media affects us, how the interactions we have there are perhaps not as real as they are in face-to-face -face communications but we can actually design ways that actually make it so that social media works in terms of a, as a reliable medium for communicating. Also things like artificial intelligence, automation and big data. Are computers and robots going to take over our jobs in the future? This is a, you know, a big question, we don't know the answer to this, but psychologists can help us understand that. We can understand well, what makes certain jobs unlikely to be taken over by artificial intelligence. So we know things about some aspects of our psychology that are, are, are really useful um, and, and we can actually get a better understanding of that. So lots of different issues that we can face that psychologists can have a big impact on and help us explain and we'll learn about those in the course. Also it's always uh, important to note that all of the courses, all of the pathways uh, here at Worcester in psychology are accredited by the British Psychological Society. They'll give you a uh, graduate basis for chartered membership. So I talked earlier about the levels of support and um, added aspects of the course, which I think are really important when you come to study psychology here at Worcester. Firstly, you're going to have staff teaching you who have lots of different expertise in lots of different areas. You've got people who are practitioners. So we have uh, working for us forensic psychologists, 
who do things in terms of hostage negotiation and sex offender rehabilitation. We have counselling psychologists. Uh, we have clinical psychologists and occupational psychologists all working in their field and they bring that expertise to their teaching so you get to learn about it firsthand. But we also have research active staff, staff who are engaging in lots of different research in lots of different areas around gratitude, around emotional intelligence, around altruism, uh, around uh, health psychology and living with long-term conditions. And also bring that expertise with them to the teaching. We're also going to use a lot of innovative teaching assessment and feedback. So we want to make the teaching and assessment realistic, so things that you'll actually find useful. And also assessments that test things that are going to be important. I mean, you're not going to be writing 3,000 word essays for the rest of your life. So we design assessments that fit with what you're learning and actually uh, can be of use to what you do in the future. And feedback. Feedback's a really important thing that, that we, 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 take, uh, we take as being a very, uh, really useful part of the student experience. So we think about how feedback can be used. So we have things like feed forward, where we can actually use the feedback for students to enhance what they do afterwards. And we also do things like audio recording of feedback. So actually recording uh, an MP3 that goes alongside a piece of work. So once we go back through and edit out all the swearing and screaming. You also be allocated a personal academic tutor when you start studying with us. This is a member of staff who you'll be working with throughout your three years here at the university and they'll be able to help you there in terms of student support around uh, your studies they can help to give you further guidance and pointers around anything else around your student life that you know you, you need a bit of guidance around and they'll also be there for references at the end um, so we really value you getting a good relationship with your personal like academic tutor to support your development through the course to get a wonderful reference to when you go out into the world of work or further study we've also set up uh, the school psychology partnership panel that's uh, a group who work uh, informally of both students and staff on a number of different initiatives. So it includes things such as uh, research projects looking at the, the usefulness of different types of feedback. And also previously, this is where we set up the school newsletter, which is run uh, uh, sort of three or four times a year, where we put all the details about the school, all the interesting news stories and events that are coming up. We also have a peer mentoring scheme uh, within the course. This is where, once you start studying with us, you could be allocated a mentor who is a, a second or third year on the same course. And they'll be able there to support you and coach you and mentor you through your time um, studying with us. And then another source of support alongside your personal academic tutor. And it's really useful in terms of going to see someone who's a fellow student. Sometimes you don't always want to go and speak to a member of staff about something. You can always go and speak to another student, which actually might be really helpful and really useful. So let's have a look now at what we call your learning journey. In other words, the structure of the course across the three years. So uh, we start off in year one or what we call level four. This is where you get the introduction to psychology. You learn about the, the basic skills that are required of psychologists and the knowledge that will uh, be a good foundation for what you'll do in the remaining years. So one module you'll do is the one called Introducing Psychology. It's where you learn about key concepts, theories and areas in psychology and also classic and uh, well-known uh, pieces of research. There's another module here called Investigating Psychology, where you're going to learn about how we actually analyse and research psychology, including how we design experiments and studies to, to test things about, about behaviour and how the mind works, and also how we then analyse it using statistics. We've also got another module called Professional Skills and Practice. And this is where you'll learn about what it is to be a psychologist or a psychology graduate. So the skills you'll need and the practice you need to go out uh, to be a professional in all areas where psychology can play a role. The aim here is across this year is in each week, these three modules will be interconnected. So you'll study the same topic in terms of being introduced to it, how it's investigated, and also learn about the professional skills and practice that lie behind it. So, for example, in introducing psychology, you might learn about classic studies to do with obedience, such as the work of Stanley Milgram. In investigating psychology, you'll learn a bit about how the experiments work and how we designed experiments that we were able to test whether obedience had an effect on the likelihood of people giving others electric shock. And in the professional skills and practice module, you'll learn a bit about the ethical background to this. Is it ethical to ask people to give others electric shocks, even if they don't actually do so? To learn a bit about the practice uh, and ethical role that psychologists can have. Also in year one, as, as well as learning about the foundations of psychology, you'll get optional modules which are all about applied areas in psychology. 
particularly areas that we specialize here in at Worcester and that we have different pathways in. This is an opportunity for you to learn about them, get a taste about the different areas so that you may uh, choose to change your pathway to one of the specific uh, applied routes. So for example, you may start off studying psychology and wish to transfer to studying the uh, pathway called uh, forensic psychology that you can do at the end of year one. Year one's all about getting the foundations, learning about the basis of psychology. So then later on, you can specialize into the different pathways at the end of year one or at the end of year two. Year two is where you start to look at things in more depth. And this is where the core areas defined by the PPS are studied more. So you've got a module here on cognitive neuroscience or biological approaches. We learn a bit about how the mind works, how our cognition activates, and the role that biology can have in explaining our psychology. We've also got this module, the individual and social world. We learned about how uh, the role of the individual uh, can play in understanding our behaviour and our nature. So looking at things like personality and intelligence, but also a lot about the social world. And humans are a very social species. So you learn about aspects to do with um, our, our social psychology, such as uh, our relationships, groups we form, our attitudes to others. You'll study those two modules alongside a third module called Research Skills in Psychology. This is very similar to what you did in investigating psychology and professional skills and practice in the first year. Will you learn a bit more about how to be a researcher in psychology and the skills you need to do that, which also lend themselves very well to other careers. So you learn things uh, to do with project management, how to collaborate and work with others, uh, how to be supervised, how to communicate uh, effectively in lots of different means. And there's also other optional modules, such as psychology in the real world, where you can learn about how psychology can be applied to lots of the global issues that will be the key themes that run through the course. You learn a bit about, a bit more in, in detail about how psychology can help us understand sustainability, knife crime, and global pandemics, and also um, evolution and human behavior. We can learn uh, about how evolutionary theory and, and biology and genetics can help us explain lots of aspects of human behavior. Lastly, there's another optional module here called Applied Psychological Science. This is open to all students who do pathways and it gives you the opportunity to start learning about how psychology can be applied to the particular pathway you're interested in. So for example, if you're on the pathway counselling psychology, you'll learn a bit about how counselling psychologists work, the sort of things they do and how they practice. In the third year, this is where you really get to specialise and get a much deeper understanding of psychology. One thing you will do is your research project, which is the big main uh, aspect of your of your entire course. It's where you'll design your own study, uh, conduct it, analyse it and write it up in about 8,000 words. So no, no real pressure there at all. But this is an, any area that you're interested in. Uh, and at this stage, when you get to year three, you should have some good ideas about the areas of psychology that you really find fascinating and you'll be able to do a research project along those lines. And also we've got lots of different optional modules that you can study in year three. So you can do lots of different topics that are uh, very new, very innovative, and also areas where members of staff have got expertise. So we have things like positive psychology, cyber psychology, health psychology, um, social cognitions and emotions, uh, amongst many others. So the way we think about the learning journey is it's got a very clear structure. We have the modules where you learn about the core areas of psychology. Here, what you'll do is you'll learn about the key content and theory that are, are key to psychology as a science, as a discipline. You'll learn a bit about the research skills and the evaluation of these particular areas. So that the, by the end of it, by the time you do your research project, you'll be well versed and have a good understanding of psychology and be able to apply it to a piece of research that will um, make a contribution of your own to what we know about psychology. But alongside it, we have these modules. And these are where you get to reflect as you go through the course. Think about your role as a psychologist and what that means, how you can make a difference, what you can do with the skills you're getting and the abilities you're getting, both in your degree and afterwards, when you go out into further careers and further study, and think a bit about further about the applications that psychology can have in the future, which, as, a, as you might guess, I think are very wide ranging, as we're realizing all the time becoming more and more important. But thinking about what will happen after your degree, this is where we've put great emphasis in the school on further postgraduate provision so that once you finish your degree, you can continue studying with us in those areas that you feel very passionate about uh, and want to pursue careers in. So currently we have uh, master's uh, courses in occupational psychology and uh, business psychology. 
and also an MSc in counselling. But also we've got some other master's courses coming along. Uh, we have a master's in coaching psychology, which is due to start next September, September 2021. And also a master's in forensic psychology, which again, it will be starting in September 2021. And also, uh, hopefully in the future, well, hopefully by the time you finish, uh, we'll have an MSc in sport and exercise psychology. So this follows on very much from the pathways that we have on offer in the undergraduate courses and, and shows the, 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 the range and depth of um, expertise we have in these particular pathways that we will be able to offer master's provisions so that you can go on and continue your learning journey with us after you finish your course and go into lots of different uh, postgraduate areas afterwards. So the key thing we think about is that you'll do the course and you graduate and you have the skills that will help you for the future. Uh, we want to have graduates who aren't just ready for the jobs that you'll have in three, four years time, but for the rest of your lives. So we'll be working in areas of psychology that we probably don't even know exist yet. But we want to make sure you've got those skills, you've got that ability uh, to go on and do that. But also what I think is really important is that you've got that personal development, which is a key part of it, which is what we really pride our graduates as having. And here's a really good example of a recent graduate of ours, uh, Sophie Carrigill, who uh, graduated a couple of years ago from our Sport and Exercise Psychology Pathway. So I'll play another video for you here. So there you go. I hope you found that helpful. I hope you had lots of useful information for you that uh, helps you making decisions. And you learned a lot about studying psychology here at Worcester. If you'd like to learn a bit more, you can check out the website. Or if you'd like to, you can get in touch with me with my email address, which should be over there somewhere. Um, just drop me a line. I'm more than happy to help. In the meantime, thanks very much for listening. Take care. Bye bye.